Welcome friends, today we are ditching the preacher outfit for something more heavy. We're going for the... Alright, alright, let, let's remove that rocket launcher. We're going for that uh, nice miner's outfit, which peculiarly is supposed to be a heavy armor, even though it looks like it has uh, pretty much no armor at all. I mean, yes, maybe the hard hat, but uh, the gloves look to be leather. The outfit, the top, the chest piece seems to be, well, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, very reinforced. And the pants are, I don't know, felt. It doesn't even look to be leather. Shoes look to be leather shoes with a little bit of reinforcement. Sure, maybe they've got a steel toe or whatever it's called. But yeah, it's supposed to be heavy armor, which again is really weird, just like the nerd outfit. And of course, the reason we're looking at the minor outfit is to help you with your ore gathering. And this is where it really shines. It's got the helmet, the outfit, gloves, and the boots. First, looking at the helmet. The helmet gives you an ore harvesting bonus that ranges from 5% at Q1 up all the way to 30%. Again, it is a heavy armor, which means that it has a stamina penalty mobility penalty there's a noise increase but it has a good durability but the helmet is good because it gives you that ore harvesting bonus so it, the yield is higher let's go to the outfit to me the outfit doesn't really make much sense because it's a heavy armor even though it doesn't look to be mining tool stamina cost is minus five percent all the way up to minus 30. i don't really have a major stamina issue when i'm mining anyway especially as i start hitting in mid game but fine let's go to the minor gloves these ones are really good now again they are still heavy armor but they give you extra or block damage and i'm going to show you later on why this really matters it goes from five percent all the way up to 50 percent or block damage and this makes a big difference let's look at the boots boots again yes they are heavy armor but they are doing a plus in safe fall distance from one up all the way to six for me, that's not a major issue, especially when I'm ore mining, because you're generally on the ground. You're not high up anyway, so it doesn't really help that much. I wish that would be rebalanced. It does have a bonus for wearing the full set, and if you look at that, it reduces the degradation of mining tools by 35%. It goes from, I believe, 10% up to 35%. That's a little bit helpful, but by the time you are getting a higher quality level, you probably can get the repair kit fairly easily so it doesn't really do much good anyway so what you end up is something like this you have if especially at q6 that's what i'm going to focus on you have 30 percent harvesting bonus this one doesn't really help that much but you get a uh, 50 percent ore block damage which is really really useful and i'm going to show you exactly how much I found myself some lead here. Well, first we're going to do, we're going to put on the Preacher outfit again so we get rid of all those bonuses. And the Preacher outfit obviously doesn't have any bonuses to or gathering anything. And I'm using now just a Q1 steel pick. So again, the gathering and all that will differ depending on your tool. It will also differ depending on the perks that you have, such as the Miner 69 or Motherload. I've got both of this at zero right now. So I'll show you how much you yield and how fast it is to take out these ore piles or ore blocks with just a steel axe for now and what you get. So first hit here, and we're looking at the non-finishing hit because that's one gave extra. All right, so we're going to hit here. One hit gives us one stone, 30 experience, and five lead. Okay, that's pretty all right. And you will notice there is a slight variation. I get five sometimes. I get four sometimes. Usually it's about five, except for the last blow, which you get extra. So again, there is a little bit of a plus minus here as well. Let's see the first one here gives us five. Got five, 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 four. So there is a slight variation here. And then put on the mining helmet. And we'll see what we get. We got 135, and now we get one. 35 and 6 another 6 another 6 so we're getting 6 or here 7 for taking out with the helmet here so you get a little bit more which is of course helpful you know extra 20 percent let's put back our preacher hat but let's put on the minor gloves which gives you that extra 50 percent or block damage so let's see here and then let's see what we end up with we got seven 
so you get a little bit more here as well just by wearing those gloves fresh piece seven eight so with the gloves we get seven or eight which is helpful as well but what if we wear both of them now so i'm now wearing i got the helmet for the ore harvesting bonus i got the gloves for the ore block damage let's take a look here what we get together nine so every hit of course this is the finishing move you get extra for block breakage as well so that one doesn't quite count but it means that i'm getting nine or ten so i've basically gone from taking five ore per swing to getting nine or ten i've almost doubled it so with wearing both of them one hit two hit three hit four hit five hit and i got a total of 64 lead so I'm going to wear just the Preacher Armor here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits for a total of 50 lead. So what have we learned? The actual output per lead block goes from 50 to 64. Again, this would be due to the ore harvesting bonus going up. So that makes sense. But also means that instead of taking seven hits, to destroy a block we only need five hits and again this is because of the minor glove in effect you're gaining more lead per lead block or coal block or iron block and so on or nitrate and it's a lot faster the interesting part of the minor outfit is that despite being heavy armor it only takes armor crafting kit and leather in order to craft you would imagine steel because it is a heavy armor hey how are you doing? So while it might not help you pick up those uh, uh, red ladies, <clears throat> at least you'll end up getting a lot more ore and faster when you're out mining at night. Well, daytime as well, but I like to do nighttime mining because you don't have a lot of other things to do, perhaps. And after all, who wants to sleep when you can uh, enjoy the nightlife? See you next time.